If you enabled multi-factor authentication, or if somebody else enabled it for you, an extra step will be added to your Microsoft account login process. Logging in starts the same way it usually does, with your email and with your password. Once you've filled those in, a new screen will pop up asking you to confirm your login via the Microsoft Authenticator app on your smartphone. A pop-up should have appeared on your phone. If it indeed did show up, all you have to do is press Approve, and you'll now be logged in. Sometimes it can occur that you won't get a pop-up notification from the Microsoft Authenticator app. If that's the case, there's still another way to log in. From the place where you're trying to log in, click the Sign in another way link. Then click on Use verification code from my mobile app. On your phone, open the Microsoft Authenticator app and tap on the account you're trying to log into. A page will now open showing you the verification code you should use to log in. This verification code is six numbers long and is only valid for 25 seconds after it's been generated. Once those 25 seconds are up, a new six numbered code will be generated. Enter the code from your phone into the device you're trying to log into and click on verify. If the code is correct and everything checks out, you should now be successfully logged in. Those are the most common ways to log into your Microsoft account using multi-factor authentication. Good luck!